How's it going guys? Travis from Tackle Bros. Welcome to the first official drop. So this is what we're gonna do every single week on Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna take everything that we've got in for the whole week, we're gonna add it up and we're gonna drop it tonight. Tonight's gonna be a really cool episode. We have some stuff from G-Crack, we have some stuff from Mega Bass. Well, not in hand, but we're gonna do something fun with it. Um, it is available, it's in the truck, so. We're gonna have some stuff from Raid. We also have a huge uh, GLF restock, so. This is gonna be a really interesting one. Um, and from now on, these are gonna happen every single week. If I'm not here, Ashton or Chris will do it, um, but this is gonna be a weekly thing from now on. All right, so we're gonna start off first with the new elastomer version of the Bellow Shad from G-Crack. Okay, so this is gonna be just basically a non-SAF version of the already existing Bellow Shad that we have in stock. So the, the Bellow Shad has actually become one of one of the most popular baits from the G-Crack lineup. Um, it's it's a, a smaller profile from the Bellow's Gill. It pairs really well on a chatter bait. Um, I actually like flipping this better than the Bellow's Gill sometimes. So this is gonna be a little bit different. So it's not gonna be the SAF material. I'll pop one of these guys out. It's gonna be, an elastomer, which is which is what it's, the name says. So it's gonna be an elastomer type bait. So it's gonna be very, very stretchy. Um, you're gonna lose a little bit of the, I would say the flow from the ribbing, but you're gonna gain durability and you're gonna gain a little bit of high float. So this is gonna be really good if you're throwing it as a spinnerbait trailer. Maybe you're throwing a chatterbait over some, you know, brush or grass and you need to keep it up a little bit. It's really, really gonna be good there. These are gonna come three to a pack. They're all gonna come in these in these little clamshells here. So you, they're really easy to store. Um, keep these away from your other plastics. So they're gonna be treated like, like a Z-Man product or, or something like that. Um, if you mix them with those, it's, it's not gonna be good. So three to a pack, clamshell. Boom, and then let's run through the colors really quick. So, so this is gonna be AJ's Magic Juice. This is a really good one. This is gonna be AJ's Dark Juice. You're gonna have probably my favorite color. This is the Electric Shad. You know, black blue. And then Honeydew, which is basically um, white and chartreuse. And then probably the most popular color. This is just gonna be plain white. So he's won some money on this guy. Very popular, sells out every single time we get it. So next up from G-Crack is gonna be the Q-Bomb. So this is gonna be a dice style bait. Actually, looking at it a little bit closer, it's almost like they took an Emo Kamushi and they just squished it into a ball. It's pretty cool looking. They left the silicon skirts a little bit longer. Um, it's probably gonna help with some drawing power. The two ways that they're recommending you to fish this is gonna be on a drop shot and on a weightless wacky rig. They're gonna spec out at a one inch at four grams. And then you're also gonna have the slightly larger 1.2 inch at five grams. Um, they're both gonna come four to a pack. So the thing with G-Crack that I really like, they have an SAF material. So that's uh, salt amino flavor. So the core of this bait is still made with that. It's really, really strong. You can smell it in your hands. Um, but they've also somehow, I don't know if they've almost encased it with uh, with more of a durable plastic. It's not quite an elastomer, but it feels like it's gonna hold up really well. You're not gonna be pulling hooks through this um, and throwing them out. So four to a pack. Let's run through the colors really quickly. We're going to have, you know, just your standard clear green pumpkin. So you're gonna have your natural craw. It's gonna be brown and white. Black chartreuse, pretty self-explanatory. This is a green pumpkin bite chartreuse. Scuppernong, scuppernong. Then we're gonna have the weed special. So this is almost like a, uh, like a I'd say watermelon -y. And then we're gonna have uh, green pumpkin blue and orange, so. So for now, these are probably gonna fly out of here. Um, we should see a major restock sometime in May, I believe. So definitely keep an eye on these. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what these can do. Okay, so let's switch our focus to Raid. Um, I'm gonna start with a restock quick. So last week we, we brought you guys the new uh, five inch and the six and a half inch super fish rollers. Uh, we had a small restock on Lively Chartreuse in the super fish rollers. And then for the six and a half, we had the Kiwami Ayu back in stock. The Zako or Zako. And then we have the Jewel Wakasagi. So um, all these guys are back in stock right now. Check them out. 
new from Raid Japan for us. So the Okasana slide we brought in maybe three weeks ago. They sold out really quickly. We had another big restock last week. And then this week we're gonna add Kawami Ayu. So this is gonna be just another natural um, bait fish Ayu color. Um, I really like this one. It's a little bit more clear. Definitely give this guy a check out. Okay, and then we just, had a, we just had a big restock on a bunch of the hard baits, a big restock on the level minnow, the level shads, um, but I did want to touch on the pings. So we had pings in here before, um, but we only had maybe one or two colors. This is our first really big color restock on the ping. This is the Raid Japan level crank ping. So this is gonna be a really good downsized version of a crankbait, obviously. The cool stuff with a lot of the Raid hard baits is they're designed to run fairly level. So um, it's gonna run more like this. You know, traditionally with crankbaits, they're gonna run really nose down. This is gonna run more flat. This is also gonna have a fairly wide action. It's not gonna hunt overly crazy, but it's gonna have some drawing power. They fish this a lot on spinning gear, or this is gonna work really, really well on a BFS. So this is 33 millimeters long, eighth ounce, light spinning gear, BFS, so the Raid Ping level crank. Okay, so we had this available, I believe just in the chartreuse before, um, for whatever reason. So I will run through the new colors that we just got block it. So this is gonna be called Lemon Power. So Yashi Zari on this one, Bait Japan. This is probably gonna be like the most natural like bait fish color that they have. King Koro, it's a really good um, Kawartha Lakes color. I like this. I like this anywhere up where we fish a lot. And then Shimanashi Tiger. So yeah, with Raid, we did have a big restock on a lot of the hard baits, you know, some of the level minnows, level cranks, all that type of stuff. That's all back in stock, so make sure you check out our full Raid lineup. Okay, then last week, we brought you guys the Pixie BFS. This week, we get the Tatula BFS 70. So. This is gonna be more of a price point BFS reel. Um, it still has, honestly, it has a lot of the same stuff in there. It still has a T-wing system, still has the ultimate tournament drag. This is gonna hold 50 yards of six pound test fluorocarbon, I believe. So if you're, if you're trying to get into BFS, this would probably be the one to check out. Like I said, there's a lot of similarities between this and the Pixie. Um, T-Wing system, ultimate, ultimate tournament drag. The Pixie is gonna be available in a seven to one and an eight to one. This is gonna be available in just an eight to one. So um, enthusiast, probably check the Pixie out. If you're just getting familiar with BFS, this is the guy for you. So new from Daiwa, Tatula BFS 70 size. Okay, so next up, Great Lakes Finesse. Um, this stuff has been challenging to keep in stock lately. Today we see a full restock. So we're gonna have the juicy Helgramites that just came out. We have, I believe every color in stock again. Um, we're gonna have pretty much every color in drop minnow. We're gonna have every color in snack crawl. We're gonna have, you know, the flat cats are gonna be back in stock. All the ball heads are back in stock. These are one of the most popular ball heads in the shop. Um, the underspins, finally we see back in stock. This is the most popular underspin in the store uh, by a lot. It's just a really nice downsized underspin. So this is gonna be the most popular underspin in the, sh in the shop. Every time we get these in, they basically, they're gone within a couple days. Um, we see every single color, every single size back in stock, including the new sizes that they released to the Bassmaster Classic, the larger sizes. So these are back in stock from Great Lakes Finesse. And then probably, the thing I've had more questions about in the last two weeks. Also, actually, I want to touch on this. Um, the Snack Craw actually gets a new color, and I really like this color. So this is going to be Green Pumpkin Orange Belly. Um, pretty much a staple in craw patterns. They And they've added this guy in now, so I'm happy to see that. So that's going to be available in the Snack Craw. Probably the most hype bait I've seen in a very long time, especially a non-JDM bait, is gonna be the Great Lakes Finesse Juvie Crawl. So I'm gonna take one of these guys out. So we finally have a little bit of stock on these guys. Um, this is essentially a tube. It is a tube. Why is this tube important? I feel like the tube category has kind of been neglected for a very long time. I Generally, what do you think you can do with a tube? I mean. It's a piece of plastic with some, some tentacles on it. These guys have taken something that seemed like it was, that was it and turned it into probably one of the coolest little baits. 
I'm actually gonna have Dan come in. I said this in the last video. I'm gonna have Dan come in and really break this thing down. Um, essentially, it's a juvenile crawl. So these are the easy crawls for the bass to eat. They're gonna put up the least amount of fight. Um, they're gonna have the softest pinchers, the softest shells. You rig it the exact same way as you would a normal tube. So you're gonna take your tube head, you're gonna force it on in there. You're gonna force it on in there. But this guy, has an actual center point right in between the two tentacles there. I don't know if you can see that. So you're gonna line that right up in between the two tentacles there. This is a very flat bottom on it. When this thing comes back, it looks like a retreating craw. So as you're dragging this across the bottom and you pop it up over a rock, it looks exactly like a retreating craw. If you've ever, you know, if you've ever been in a creek and, and you've stepped in and there's crayfish anywhere, you can see them scooting backwards. This looks exactly like that. Uh, we actually got to take it out on Monday. The fish were very lethargic. You couldn't do much with them. You had to be ultra, ultra slow. We were able to get a couple bites of this guy. So definitely check these out while they're in stock. We're, they're available in four colors right now. So the green pumpkin's gonna be available right now. That's the one I have rigged up here. We're also gonna have black blue. Can you see that, Ash? We're gonna have frosted shad. And then you're gonna have green pumpkin watermelon. So you're gonna have a green pumpkin uh, top, watermelon or chartreuse belly. Most of these guys are gonna be floating. Um, the two more clear colors, the, uh, the frosted shad and the motor oil are gonna be non-floating. So keep that in mind when you're buying them. Okay, so we had a huge restock on depths across the board. I'm gonna touch on some of the, the key colors that came back in stock um, and some, some key baits. So Evoke Shad 2.0s are back in a big way. We're gonna have uh, Blackback Mustard. We're gonna have Horizon Shad. We're gonna have Red Craw. And then uh, Real Baby Gill. So all those are back in stock with depths. Um, a bunch of other colors in the 2.0s are available. Again, one of our biggest uh, cover scat restocks we've ever had. So all, all colors are available, all sizes, two and a half, three and a half, four inch. Um, the three inches should be coming, I'm hoping, I'm hoping in May. Um, if you guys haven't seen, same with the slender scats, those should be coming in May. We missed it on the initial uh, offering of them, but yeah. Depths cover scats, all the popular sizes, all the popular colors, the black, the Falcon Lake Craw. Um, these are all back in stock now. Okay, so then the big one. So I don't know how long it's gonna be before we get another one. I've been told April, I've been told May. I'm hoping that we can have a more substantial restock on the next one. Um, the fours and fives are gonna be liquidated out of here. We didn't get any sixes, and there are some seven eights, and then also the heavyweights. So if you guys are looking for some Sakamata Shads, grab up what you can. Um, we're hoping for a much better restock, maybe in, like I said, in, in May, it should be a little bit better. I don't think that anybody was really prepared for the hype on these guys. So get them what you can. I hope everybody gets a couple packs. Fours, fives, sevens, eights. The, the, the key sizes are really gonna be the fours and fives. The seven and eights, they're gonna be great for what they're intended for, which is being a fluke style bait, maybe not being so much of a, um, a mid strolling bait. So check these guys out. Fours, fives are back in stock. If you don't know what a Sakamata Shad is, it's essentially a fluke. Um, it became very famous. So this whole hover strolling thing, I said this last week, there's basically two or three main baits. It's gonna be the fish roller. It's gonna be the, the jackal is pretty popular. Um, we also have another one which we're gonna have next week and I'm gonna, I'm gonna really talk about. And then you have the Sakamata Shad, which I think is kind of really setting the tone for this whole thing. Um, so basically, you take one of these, it's a owner range roller head. We also have Horizon heads, but this is, uh, this is one of the more popular ones. We also just got a, another big restock on these again, thankfully. Basically, you just take this guy, gonna feed that through there. Coming it through the back. And it's just a little a little minnow profile. So it's it's basically a jig head minnow. Um, this is all the craze right now. This is what everybody's been talking about. This is what everybody's gonna continue to talk about. Four inch and five inch are really gonna be the key ones. Um, the seven eights are players for what they're intended for as a, as a fluke style bait. Um, they're also available in a heavyweight in the five, six, and seven. So check these guys out while they're in stock. Um, from depth. So that's 
I think that's a wrap on today. Um, we have a lot more stuff that I that I can kind of touch base on, but I want to keep these more short and sweet. If you guys really want long, detailed videos, let me know. I can break down every single color. I can break down every single technique. We can hang out for 20, 30 minutes a week, you know, doing these videos, and I can show you guys some of the new stuff. I'm going to highlight the stuff that is more relevant um, here and now. If, I, Like I said, if you guys want me to break down every single color when we get a restock, I will do that. If you guys just want to see the highlights, I'll do that as well. So let me know in the comment what you guys want. Um, I'm really happy that we're doing this. Get to spend some time with you guys, teach you guys a thing or two. We're also going to have other videos coming out, um, more instructional. We'll have some on the water stuff. Um, Chrissy will do some stuff. Ashley will do some stuff. So Okay, so last but not least from Mega Bass. GP Pro Blue Secret. This is the Bassmaster Classic, release color. Um, super limited, so limited that you can't see it until now. So we have been waiting for this box all day. I'm actually gonna put my hands on it because this is getting a little weird. We've been waiting for this box all day. Um, it did not show up by the time we're filming this. If this makes it in the video, it's because the box showed up. So this is a Bassmaster Classic release. It's gonna be available in a Vision 110 a Vision 110 Plus One, and a Junior Plus One. So hopefully you guys made it to this point in the video. If you did, you're gonna get them. They're gonna be super limited. Um, you either had to be at the Bassmaster Classic or you had to make it to this point in the video. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. We will see you next week, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every single Thursday. We're gonna do the drop. Thank you guys for hanging out.